it's me Mexican Adensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new related videos every single day. In today's video, we have this absolutely enormous box to unbox for you guys from Japan. It's 17 kilograms, which is around 40 pounds, I believe. I don't understand because there's about $300 worth of product in here. I don't know how I did this. I don't know how I got a box this big. Uh, anyways, if you guys have not been watching my other videos about Japanese products, I actually have a partnership with Zen Market who are a proxy. So they basically will order stuff for you or you like buy stuff and they order it and hold, hold it for you and then put it all in one box and ship it to you for cheaper shipping. This is an enormous box. I know what's in here, but I don't understand how it's so big. Maybe something I bought is way larger than I think it was. I have no idea, but let's get into the box. I am very excited. And if you guys are interested in shopping Japanese products or anything you see in this video, I will include information in the description for you guys to check out. I was not paid to make this video. I just am an affiliate. So if you guys sign up, it helps support the channel because it helps me do more videos like this. This box had a few things because I had just started the affiliate program, so I didn't really earn a whole lot, but um, a few things were funded by you guys in this video. So thank you guys so, so much for sponsoring me, I guess. <laughs> anyway, let's see what's in the box. I already cut it open, but I haven't gotten into it yet. It's so, this is one of the largest boxes I've ever ended up with, but it's also one of the least amounts I've ever spent to get here. So I don't, <laughs> there's something enormous in here. Okay. other wall scrolls i don't know what's in here okay well i guess we'll start here this was packed well thank you zen market they always pack things super well like lots of fun stuff in here but i have no idea what this is um i assume so one of my strategies to find cool stuff for cheap is to buy junk lots so basically thrift stores and different people will just list a pile of their stuff as junk and you don't know exactly what's in there you'll just see some of it I think that's what this is from because I didn't order any posters in particular, I don't think, but we'll find out. Um, <laughs> big old tube. All right, y'all, I have revealed what the posters are. So they are these absolutely enormous Love Live posters. Um, <laughs> I was not expecting them to be this large. I do remember what like lot I bought that came with these posters, but that explains a lot why my shipping was so much, why my box ended up being so big was that huge poster roll. And I appreciate them packaging those posters so well. All right, y'all action-packed beginning of this one so they inserted a uh, empty box as a spacer which i really appreciate because that cuts down on the amount of money i have to spend on shipping but also helps protect the items in the box so let's just start seeing what's inside the box so okay oh, i was so excited about this um so this is really cute this is a pin set but the seller I guess it was already part of their collection, so they actually included it all on this cute little pin board with an easel. So these are Love Live pins from one of the Thanksgiving festivals, I believe, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have all of the Aqua characters. This one fell. Um, sorry, Wooby. Um, and in their little cheerleading outfits, and then we have a 2018 Go Go Live, I believe, logo, and then a fifth anniversary School Idol Festival pin these are cool the pins so most love live stuff you can get pretty cheap but the pins in particular are so expensive um and i paid i think 30 dollars total for all of this including the cute little board that it's on so i consider this a win because the pins at retail are like seven to nine dollars each if i recall correctly this was a steal if you can get something like relatively rare especially imported to you for less than you would have paid brand new that's a win. And that's uh, partially why I love shopping on Yahoo Japan Auctions, which is mainly what I shop on. I usually link you guys when I put links in the description um, on these videos. I'll link you to Amazon Japan just because it's way easier to use. Um, Amazon Japan takes a little, or um, Yahoo Japan, sorry, takes a little bit of like figuring out. Okay. This is actually a gift for Brett. He's not in here right now, but let me, let me show you what I got for him. These are so cute. So if you watched a couple of Japan hauls ago, before I was even a Zen Market partner, um, I got him some Kirby stuff and I just bought them on a whim for him. I was like, oh, these are cute. He likes Kirby, but he ended up really loving them. So I bought him more Kirby stuff. I might actually take the bag. The bag was not what I bought for him. This is so cute. Um, but then these, there's a little note. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. So this is all just different Kirby merchandise. So they're like, they're little terrariums. I'll show you this one. Uh, but the rest, they're for Brett, so I'll leave them for him to open and discover, because it's pretty cool. Um, and he was so happy with the other ones, so I've been trying to find him the older sets and the sets that he doesn't already have, and they're actually really hard to find. Um, 
how nice that they had done all this. So this one, I'm not as familiar with Kirby as Brett is, like I don't know what this is from, but anyway, we have a little bottle with a star top and then this little fishing Kirby. Like I don't think I've played a Kirby game where he fishes, but I might've just forgotten. I've played like four games. Um, and you sit him on his little island and he's fishing. It also could just be a cute thing that they built. Uh, but yeah, he's been really loving his other terrariums that I got for him, so I really hope he enjoys these. I got them mainly because these ones that come in the jars specifically are like weirdly hard to find. I've been really looking, so yay! There's like more jar ones in there, but I'm gonna set those aside so that they are safe for Brett. And now I think we are getting to doll territory, so here we are. So here's one of our first dolls. Oh my gosh, okay. So the reason I delayed this package quite a bit is because these dolls I had on pre-order and they took a minute to get to the proxy because they were on pre-order. I pre-ordered these on Amazon Japan. I believe they are still in stock. I'm so excited. So this is Cure Black. So for the 20th anniversary of Precure, they actually made Cure Black and Cure White Precure style dolls again, which they actually did already have Precure style dolls. They're an older version of Precure style. I do already have the original ones, but my Cure Black is in terrible condition. But look! So here is the new Precure style doll for 2023. These just came out like two weeks ago, maybe like actually showed up in stores. So, oh, she looks amazing. So there's going to be a review just about these. And then this is Cure White, if I had to guess. Okay, so here is Cure White. So this is why um, we might have waited a minute between this haul and the last one. I pre-ordered these a while ago. Um, and finally they shipped oh my gosh here is cure white and i love that i can pre-order stuff on z market because and i've been doing this since long before i was a partner with them but like it's just so simple it's always a pleasant experience i've never had them cancel one of my pre-orders but i'm sure that can happen if like something happens you know but i really like to pre-order stuff from like directly to J japan because i've noticed that for example i made a video about a harmonia doll that we bought we got her three months later than everybody else did uh because we pre-ordered her to our address in America and it just took ridiculously long. So I pre-ordered these to Japan, they get to my haul and, or they get to my proxy. And I didn't tell you actually, this package arrived to my proxy like 36 hours after I ordered it. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes it can take longer or it gets stuck in customs or something. But this was like ridiculously fast. We just, we ordered it at the right moment, I guess. But this was with US, UPS. I don't particularly like ordering with UPS, but they generally have the cheapest prices. And this box was expensive to ship, but the the next highest shipping option was like $100 more. So we're counting our blessings. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm so excited about everything, aren't I? Um, it's cause I, I bought it all, but because I've waited, it's like Christmas all over again. Okay, this is from a series. It's like Sanrio related, it's Sanrio adjacent if it's not just all the way made by Sanrio, but it's called Rilu Rilu Feralu or Lo Lo Fairy, Feralu, Lo Lo Feralu. And they made dolls. And I knew about this series, but I didn't know they made dolls. So <laughs> I ordered one of the dolls. I, so she has, I believe everything to her main outfit because she has her little headpiece, which these are hard to find the headpieces. There's the doll. And then I didn't realize they came with stands. I actually ordered more of these. I don't know if they're in here, or if they're in my next box that I'm going to be ordering, but look at this little, Fairy. Oh my gosh. So I was just scrolling through looking for a different doll on, um, I ordered this one from uh, Yahoo Shopping, which I don't normally shop from actually. Uh, I was looking for a different doll for one of my friends and I found this and I was like, ah! had to get her and look at her. Look at her. So her hair is a little bit um, dry, so we're gonna have to wash it, but I am so happy. She's a little fairy baby. I think she's missing her um, wings, actually. I didn't think to check if they had wings, but I can custom make her wings very easily. I'm so excited about this one. I already ordered more fairy Lou dolls, so <laughs> we're starting a collection. They're, they might be in here, but they might be in my next box. I separated this box, like, because it was so... It's a, There's a lot of stuff in the box. I had to separate some stuff. Um, this is a present for somebody. And then... Okay, I guess I'll show this to you. Usually I'm like, love life stuff, whatever, and I toss it aside, but then people in the comments are like, wait, I wanted to see that. I'm building a shrine to Mia Taylor, who's my favorite Nijikasaki character, unfortunately, because she doesn't get merch. Um, so I ordered this slot that had this really cute acrylic stand. Generally, sets of acrylic stands like this get pretty rare, so I grabbed this because it was five bucks for both of these things. 
Um, and then, which by the way, if you're ordering on Zen Market, you pay a, the fees are actually pretty good. You pay a $3 fee per whatever you buy. So even if you, an item is $1,000 or if it's a lot with a hundred things in it, you pay a flat around $3 fee. Right now it's more like $2.50 because the Japanese yen is kind of fluctuating in price, but, or in value compared to the US dollar. But, um, so buying something like this that cost me $5 means that I actually paid $8 plus shipping plus international shipping. So this ends up being a lot more expensive than, say, a big lot of stuff that I bought. So generally you don't see me buying individual stuff like this. Some, um, I mean, in this box, actually, there's a lot of things that I bought in individually. But anyway, I got, they are matching. I don't normally like when it's the same art on two things, but it was Mia. I'm building a shrine to Mia and Mia merch is very hard to come by. So I grabbed this because I didn't really see other sellers that had that. So I don't even know where it came from, but it was very cute. All right, next. <laughs> um, this <laughs> is for me. This is my Japan Bratz doll. I was going to sleep very late. And uh, I think it was like 3 or 4 a.m. And this lot ended in like an hour. And I was so tired. I was like, I don't think I can stay up. Because usually if you're bidding, auctions tend to end at like 5 to 6 a.m. <laughs> And this was at like $3, I think. So I was like, I'm going to put a bid in. So I bid like my max bid up to like 20 bucks. Cause I was like, if I get this doll for 20 bucks, that's a steal. I'll be happy. And I won her for $5. So yeah, <laughs> great deal. So this is basically just the U S release. Like, I don't know if there's any big difference, honestly, except that on the bottom we have Japanese information, but I really like the brat dolls. And I wanted to have this one in box, especially for like $5. It's really unusual to find something that I would have to spend like $40 to $50. Because this isn't like a rare line to find in box by any means. But I would have to spend quite a lot to get her in the US. But I found her in Japan, which isn't even where they're from. They're pretty hard to find there. And I managed to get her for so cheap. That was a steal. I think that was unusual. I think people just didn't, um, weren't paying attention to that auction or something. And her box is quite scratched up. But anyway, I have quite a few, like you can actually see them back here. I have a lot of Brad dolls um, in box, thanks to one of my friends for gifting them to me. And then also ones that I've found over time. So um, if I can add to that collection, I will. So yay, I got a new Chloe. She's very, very cute and I'm happy. Um, yeah, score. I'm, I'm not saying the name of the line because this line actually houses my, one of my all time favorite Bratz dolls, this one right here. And look, here's, no, that's not her doll. Where's Chloe? Is she not on display right now? Oh, that's embarrassing. Weird, I don't know why she's not there. Um, oh, there she is, she's over there. Yeah, that's her, she's right there. But this Yasmin is from this set and she's one of my favorites but i always forget is it funk out is it, it's not funk out is it megan it's the watermelon megan oh my god it's funk out or flaunted or something anyway i always forget the name of this line um there's certain brats lines that just don't ask i don't know i'm not expressing i know that <laughs> anyway um and i have an inbox one yay for ridiculously cheap all right, then we have, okay, this doll, I was, okay, so when I was in New York, I went with my friend Peggy Moon Miss Blue, and uh, Brett walked up to me holding a doll at a thrift store that we went to, this Japanese thrift store that we went to, and I was like, because oh, Brett never finds, I mean, not out of lack of trying, but he knows that, he doesn't know every single doll that I have, you know, so he doesn't want to, like, buy me a double or something, so he walks up to me holding a doll, and I was like, oh my god, and I fell in love with her, she was so beautiful, and then I went to show my friend Peggy, and my friend Peggy was so excited excited about this doll she knew exactly who the doll was um and I was like I want this doll but you can have her like because you knew she knew who the character was you know so I was like it's okay um but then I was on a mission to find the doll for myself so that I could still have like that memory of Brett walking up to me with the doll and I found her I paid $15 or $18 or something for this one and um yeah so isn't she so cute though? I have a new show to watch. I also need to watch the Farrelly show because I watched some of it like a long time ago, but I remember nothing. Um, I love, 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 love um, this doll. Like I just thought she was so pretty. I fell in love with her, but I couldn't say no to my friend freaking out about finding a girl, even though the girl, yeah, you know, you know how it is. So yeah, I found one. <laughs> And isn't she cute? I just thought this was a really interesting doll. Uh, they are relatively hard to find, but they were pretty affordable, the ones that I found. So, yay, now I got one. And that's what she looks like. I don't remember her name, but anyway, 
full disclosure, I do not know anything about the series. I just thought the doll was really pretty and I thought the thrift store story was like really interesting and fun because at Japanese thrift stores that are in America, Book Off is what it's called, it's in um, Brooklyn, New York, you don't find dolls. Like at the Book Off in Manhattan, there were some like A-Zone dolls new in box, but they were really expensive. But the doll that was at that store was like, she was just out of her box. She was perfect and she was like $15 and it was just like a weird find um and I thought it was super cool so um I'm really glad I managed to find one it's nice that she was relatively easy to find like online but um I couldn't say no to my friend Peggy even if that was like a super rare expensive doll or something I couldn't I couldn't take that away from her um all right so this next thing ooh, I know exactly what this is so <laughs> I have this set of little figures from, from Love Live, of course, and they are so cute and I love them. And they are like an aquarium diorama. So there's a song from um, Aqua, one of the singles is called Aquarium. And I really like the outfits and I really like the song. Hey Brooke, why not just go into your anime room and show what you're talking about? Oh yeah, good idea. Thanks. Um, oh, there's the pins that I already have, by the way. So I already had a couple of those and then some of those so now i'm gonna have more pins i don't really have a lot i also have that thinking of ruby one i just noticed i didn't notice it earlier for some reason there's a thinking of yoshko one in there which is really cool actually um especially because sif is gone so it's a nice keepsake anyway these are the cho collect aquarium set and i love this set so these were individually packaged as like gasha prizes but I bought the full set and I love them. Um, but yeah, I was looking to see like, did they ever release more? And I found Majuka Dreamer and I was like, oh my God, I have to have that. So yeah, they look cute. They look very cute and I'm happy. So I need to figure out where they're gonna go on the shelf though, cause the shelf already looks excellent. And there's these really cute figures that are all posed and um, I'll show you in the next like doll room update or something, but they're so cute. And I was just like mindlessly scrolling to find more things like that and because Cha Collect is the name of the line, so I was looking to see if there were other, like, anime that I like in this Cha Collect line, and I stumbled upon this, and I was like, where have you been all my life? I didn't know about you. I knew that there were some of these figures, like, I think I have a couple of them, but I didn't know there was a stage that went with them. So you could order, you could get these from, like, Gasha Machines, the little figures, but I wanted the set. So I managed to find the set. It was actually really hard to find the set, but I found it on Japanese Mercari, and that's actually how I found the pin set. The seller had both of these. So this was, like, whatever, like $20, $30 ish. And this was like, I think 30 to 40, something in that range. So, uh, but anyway, it's a little stage that you can build and they do Mijuku Dreamer. That's the outfit and the, I didn't think it was, okay, it's not sealed. They just kept the, see, it's so cool that they keep the packaging like this. Um, Like a lot of collectors in Japan I've noticed will do this. They keep all the packaging. But anyway, these figures are like really nice quality and yeah, I did not end up finding another anime um, figures. They're sorted two years they're just they're beautiful they're like really high quality the paint is gorgeous and they're very affordable for what they are and i wanted the cute little stage for my dolls or my figures to perform on and this will look so cute on display next to the aquarium one this is cool it's just such a like i want like muse and ijigasaki and liala and all these other um these are love live has like different bands basically different idol groups um they're not bands they don't really play music well they kind of make it's not worth explaining, but, um, yeah, they only make Aqua stuff. Aqua is, like, the most successful group, so I understand, but it would be great if there was, like, a Muse stage with some kind of Muse outfit that I could put on display on my Muse shelf, because in on the Aqua shelf, there's all these really cool figure lines and stuff that did not get made for other groups, but Aqua's my favorite group anyway, so it's fine. Liella could beat them, though, eventually. Okay, this is another box that I think was used as a spacer, which... I appreciate okay and then in here oh my god what is this <laughs> this is more love live stuff i'll show you this to you guys at the end of the video because i know most of you guys are not here for love live but this is where those giant posters came from <laughs> that, that's why i got posters because <laughs> i bought a junk lot it, it was either like mass or junk they used different words okay this i'm so excited about this took weirdly long to ship to my proxy for some reason which is not my proxy's fault or I always say my proxy Zen Market. It was not Zen Market's fault. Um, it was just the seller for some reason took forever. Um, I ordered this as like a damaged box thing. So that's why the box is smushed, by the way. Uh, so I can get it for cheaper. But this is the most incredible thing. This is a Lika Chan. Lika Chan, sorry. Um, this is a Lika Chan cake making set. It comes with all of the things you will need to make beautiful cakes. And I fell in love with it. 
and I actually think I paid like 30 bucks for this so I don't know what the retail was but that was I mean ordinarily I pay like a lot less than retail but I was just so fascinated by this set and I couldn't get it out of my head and I really wanted to see what the Lee Chan play sets were like so that I could like show, one show them to you guys and two see if I wanted to get more because there's some really cool sets there's like a sushi restaurant where they have like the revolving like plates where the sushi goes on it I don't know what that's called but they had that there's like a bath robin set there's a lot of really cool Lincoln sets and I just wanted to see how I liked their accessory quality I guess um to see if I wanted to invest further but this I've been like looking at the sets and I haven't like bought any but this was the one where I was like okay I have to have that oh my god it's so cool it reminds me of like if you played the generation three my little pony video game when you were a kid the, the computer game and you can make the little cakes and it was the most fun mini game in the world now i get to do it in real life not by learning how to bake no i don't know how to bake why would i learn how to bake when i could just buy the leaka cake set <laughs> okay now they have compartmentalized some things so inside of here i don't know what we're going to find what a fun game because i have more stuff still at proxy that is going to be in a separate box so i i don't know what exactly is in this box um i know exactly what both of these boxes are okay so don't be me so as you can see like half of the real estate of this box was spent on the following two lots and was that worth the amount of money i paid in shipping no it wasn't um, not that the shipping prices were unreasonable, but you know, like, <laughs> I like to save on shipping, but I was very enthralled by this stuff. So I'm going to show you this first, just, this is, um, Leica furniture. It's like older Leica furniture, I think too, but I just thought this was really interesting. So I bought it. Um, this actually doesn't take up too much space. Like this is, this is a large box, but, um, it wouldn't have taken up that much space. But the next thing is the thing that I'm like... So I'll show you this and the Love Life stuff when I flip the camera around, just because I think you'll be able to see it better. And I'll show you some of the other stuff up closer when I flip the camera around. Um, and then look, we got our Zen Market. It says, dear customer, thank you for using Zen Market as your buying proxy for online shopping in Japan. We work, we really work hard to ensure best quality of service. Hope you are satisfied with your order. We will be happy to have your feedback and see you again. In my experience, they are the best quality of service. And I'm not just saying that, you can hear me say it in other videos before I was a partner. All right. So this package, <laughs> this, I believe, unless they were, sometimes they'll put other small things into the box. So that could have happened here, but I'll show you. Oh my gosh, this <laughs> Um. So I really like Hamtaro. Hamtaro is a childhood favorite uh, thing of mine. And I've been shopping for the Japanese exclusive stuff. So every now and then I look up Hamtaro and I found this and what is inside is a Hamtaro set that I already have and something else <laughs> and the, the other thing was the reason I bought this because I was like that is beautiful I need it um and yeah so it's it's just it took up a lot of space in the box so I'm kind of don't be me if you if you find like a set that you like it's your grail or like you super want it you need it for your collection get it but don't do this and buy a lot that has things that you either don't need or don't want in it because you're spending a ton of money on shipping for it. So this was my bad. Uh, for example, this came in the lot. <laughs> I might end up loving it, but this was not <laughs> something that I was looking to add to my collection or anything. This is um, the Pet Note laptop. <laughs> oh my God. So <laughs> I have no idea what this is, but there's a, there's a mouse. Um, it's like one of those learning, like, kids' laptops or something. How do you open it? Okay, there's a little latch on the side. Let me in. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I think, it's, <laughs> I think it's like a little educational thing. It's very cute, but I'm not going to... I don't know what to do with this. It's, just, it's a clear note, pet note. Ooh. That is a beautiful keyboard. Yeah, I... This didn't really take up that much space. It is kind of heavy, though. The mouse is really cute. I wish I could use that with my computer. Uh, but anyway, it's the pet note. The newest, uh, most happening computer. Okay, and then I'm not going to show you this yet because that's the last thing, but I'll show you this. That fell. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, so this is the Hamtaro set. 
that I bought, which this one might be more complete than mine, so I might be able to uh, complete mine using this. All right, sorry guys, I cut away. It was really well packaged. <laughs> so this is the Ham Ham Clubhouse. So if you don't know, the clubhouse that we got in the US, the Ham Ham House, is supposed to be the top of a two-part set, but we never got the bottom. So the underground is like the actual clubhouse from the games and from the show. Um, and it's really cute and I do have it. Oh my gosh, look how Sandy has a little ribbon. I want that. They all have little accessories. Um, I'm not really sure what release this one is or if it's the same as the one that I already have or anything. It does have like a ton of its accessories, I think, which is nice. Let me look. Yeah, so there's a bag. Oh my gosh, the hamsters! The hamsters are in here. Okay. Um, now I'm remembering why I justified the set. So a bunch of the hamsters are in here. I'll show you up close in a second. And then the clubhouse itself. So I'm going to go through this and check like what I have and what I don't have and like figure that out. But you know, this, this was what came up in the search because I searched Hamtaro. This other thing is the reason I bought it. And I'm really curious about this. So I believe this is a Sylvanian Families playset. And when I was looking into it, because I was like, because it, it it showed up as Hamtaro. They didn't list what it actually was. And I knew it wasn't Hamtaro, but I was like, what is that? It's beautiful. I love it so much. So I don't, I think I just searched like, I think Epoch is the company that makes this. I'll, I'll double check though, or Epic. <laughs> I just pronounced it Epoch because it's spelled different than Epic. So I'm trying to like differentiate the words, but who cares? Um, and then like clouds, sky, and I managed to find this. I don't remember what the name of it was, but oh, sky castle. Is that it? Yeah, it says sky castle. So luckily it said sky castle on it. So I looked up sky castle playset and then yeah, Epoch, which is E-P-O-C-H. Isn't this stunning? So the reason I bought this is, I, I do believe it's a Sylvanian family set, but don't quote me on that, which is Calico Critters, by the way. Sylvanian and Calico is the same thing. Well, they're the same toys. I don't know if they have all the same releases. But anyway, I bought this because when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, that is the most perfect Harmony from Hamtaro playset ever. And it's also perfectly sized. And like, look, we're going to get up close. I'm going to turn the camera around. I will be right back. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the floor. So... This is the Sky Castle set, and I just thought it would be the perfect little Hamtaro display set because um, Him Him Heartbreak was, like, my favorite video game, like, one of my favorite video games when I was a kid. And, which, by the way, if you're clowning on me for that, I need you to play the game. Like, I'm serious. It's, like, excellent. <laughs> it's not just, like, this is a shovelware game. It was actually, like, made by Nintendo in part. But anyway, um, I wanted to show you that the hamsters are, like, perfectly sized for this. I knew they would be because of the... Ham Ham out or Ham Ham Clubhouse place that but oh peppers in here whoa this is a way nicer pepper than the one I have okay wait let's look at all of our ham hams like let's let's observe so there's some stuff is this for Cappy <gasps> no way we got the frying pan okay hold on everybody out everybody out is this a little ham or a blow jar what is going on <gasps> Cappy okay and snoozer is rightfully in the sock and howdy's in the little shoe i used to use this as a car when i was a kid that was like the hamster's car um okay interesting that these are the sets that at least in america i'm pretty sure these things came with different hamsters so i wonder if that was mirrored in japan i don't know probably because those aren't the accessories from the clubhouse i'm pretty sure unless this release just happened to come with them it's not showing them on the box um i'll show you the clubhouse too while we're here uh but isn't this set really cool and like look the clouds all spin and there's like a little hidey hole there there's a beanstalk this looks like it opens to what <gasps> little constellation or something oh does this spin wait gorgeous amazing show stopping never been done <gasps> oh that rotates too a lot of fun this is pretty um like dusty though so i need to clean that but it's pretty cool um, I think it's Sylvanian. I'm sorry if it's not. It almost looks like it's too small to be for Sylvanians, but I don't know. I'm pronouncing that so weird. Sylvanian. Okay. And then here is the Ham Ham House, which I, or Ham Ham Clubhouse. I have a full review of this in better detail on my channel if you're interested. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice set. So this more closely looks like the one that's in the video games. It looks like the one more like the one in the show. It doesn't, I don't think they had all the stick. No, they did. They had like platforms because... Stan would, like, skateboard around them. I don't know. But yeah. There's also, like, lots of fun things. So, funny enough, if you have the Ham Ham House, the U.S. release, there's holes in it that lead to these. So, like, there's a hole in the living room. There's the fireplace hole. They all lead to different features that are, like, interactive with this house. So, it's kind of funny. 
I had no idea about this house until a lot later. But anyway, it's it's a great house. And then we have Boss. I don't remember their Japanese names, otherwise I would tell you. Well, I know Beijus is Ribbon Chan, but she's not actually in here. Ribbon Chan. And then Oxnard. Howdy. And the US ones, I think, were like um, distributed or like released here by Hasbro, right? And then we have Dexter. Jingle. Pashmina. I knew her. What is her Japanese name? I used to know it. There's Hamtaro with the funny eyes. I always um, was wondering about these releases, but I think it's because the old art used to just have, because they all have the the whites of the eyes that are kind of strange. And then Pepper's an unusual one. This is a way nicer Pepper than the one I have. Like, she's on the rubberier body as opposed to the, like, harder body that the um, Chinese release ones that I have are on. Um, here is Maxwell and Panda. Anyway, finding the hamster figures from Japan is actually expensive. Like, these are popular to this day. And then Snoozer is quite stained. Oh my gosh, look. He's fine under... I wonder if that's sun damage or what. It's fine under the sock. This is the same sock the US release came with. And then we have Stan. We have Cappy. And we have Omar, question mark. Um, and I'm so excited because look. He is ah! Oh my gosh. So when, when they first meet him, I believe he's using this as a hat. I don't... This is so cool. And my brother's favorite um, character was Cappy. So I'm gonna... He's gonna get such a kick out of this. I had no idea he came with this. I knew this set was gonna come with the hamsters, but I did not um, see all the accessories that closely. That is so exciting. And then there's other things in here. Like, what is this? I don't know, but it has a hamster logo on it. So I know it's Hamtaro. Um, I believe most of this is Hamtaro, if not all of it. But is the lid to the treasure chest missing? This was released in the US too. Uh, most of this is double... Like, this came with Panda. I have this. This is a little desk. I don't have this. This is really cute. Um, yeah, cool stuff. Some, but yeah, so this, I would not have purchased this if not for the Sky Castle. I bought it because I wanted the Sky Castle. Okay, now I wanted to show you these up a little bit closer. So these are the Show Collect special stage for Mijuku Dreamer. I love this song. And this is what the figures look like. So they're like really high quality, really nice especially for the size. And you have to build some of them. That's why their legs are separated. Um, and they come with little stands, which is very nice too. Not all of the aquarium ones that should have came with stands come with stands. Um, Scott on there. Mari. Daya. And then here we have our first years. But yeah, isn't this so cute? I just love it. I just love it. And I knew these would be high quality and that I would enjoy them because of the aquarium set that I have. I've been overhauling this area, so excuse that it's, like, weird right now, but I just set up the stage. It's way larger than I thought it was going to be, which is kind of bad for display, but also it looks really cool. Like, look how small the aquarium set is in comparison, but they look amazing on their little stage. Oh my gosh. So cute. I really like Hanan in this particular set. And yeah, just huge. And then I also set this up. I put some of my old pins on here. And it looks good. I'm happy. I need to find my thinking. I swear I have thinking of Ruby, but I'll have to double check. Um, just put my other pins on the board. Pretty cool. Right. And now let's figure out what is going on in that Love Live lot and figure out what justified me to purchase it. Because I know I purchased it for a reason, but I don't remember what that reason was because I buy big old Love Live lots all the time. Basically every Japan box you've seen me have, buy has something like this in it. So again, I do this because all of this stuff was lot number 184 for me, you know, and this is one half because the second one was the, um, or one of two is what that says, but the second one was the posters. I bought this for a reason. Do I remember the, the reason? No. Um, but we'll see. And I buy these because it's only a $3 um, proxy fee and you get a lot of cool stuff that you don't really get otherwise. And if I wanted to buy stuff that would come in here separately, it would be, oh, I remember now, aha! deck boxes are quite expensive for some reason the card stuff is very expensive and i have the larger deck box from this set like the card storage thing and this is an actual deck box super cool and then this one they're from wise shores this one is but this one is just generic i think no it's bushy road so this is like officially branded but um this one comes with the box and the card sleeves pretty cool i have quite a few of the cards but i don't have a lot of this kind of stuff so it's really cool to be able to get the sealed sleeves and again these are weirdly expensive i've tried to find some and they're very expensive there's probably other reasons why we purchased this 
the slot, so come with me. Let's find out. All right, next we have a pass case. Very cute. And it has a little zipper pouch where you can store some stuff, and then also the pass case section. And then it looks like that came with this little lanyard. Very, very cute. Little pass case lanyard situation here. This stuff's mostly Muse, I think. I have mostly Muse stuff in my collection because it's much more common. It's really easy to find this stuff. Um, and there's like a lot of really fun different merch for Muse that I really enjoy. Um, okay, this is, I guess, like a big... Oh, you're supposed to put your keys like inside of this thing and they'll fan out, I guess. This is... See, this is the kind of merch that's so unusual. So unusual. And this is pretty cute. So it says like the dimensions of the key you can put in. And then we have this Hanukkah. I have this one. I think this was the secret from the set, but I don't remember. And then all of these little things. These little charms. Dancing Stars on Me Hanayo. I'm pretty sure I have this one already. And then we have some early Aqua merch. These, I just don't like these very much. They're like these weird squishy plastic things. They're usually, they're like Deca cleaners because normally they have a little thing on the back so you can clean your phone screen with them but these ones don't i think they're just cute and i i really like the um like aqua cheerleading outfits so not mad at this but it's like my least favorite brand of not brand but like least favorite type of love life merch because there's so many also okay then we have the shikishis or shikis no there's these codes but i can't use them because they're for school idol festival i'm pretty sure Oh, that's so sad. So I think these give you a card in School Idol Festival. And then look here. Oh, how cute. We have Sunny Day Song, Third Years. I wonder why those are in there. Maybe the seller just happened to keep them in there. Uh, but yeah, May School Idol Festival, rest in peace. It just ended like today or yesterday. <laughs> um, then we have Katori. Rin. Katori. I actually have this one. Um, really cute. All the second years. All the second years again. This is all second year stuff. Monica and Umi. Very cute. Some sets that I don't already have. Shikishis also can get kind of expensive, uh, so I like to get them in lots. I've never like bought a shikishi separately, but I really like them. They're super cute on display. And then we have, I didn't know about this one. I didn't see this one in the lot picture. This is a Printemps uh, muffler towel, so it's like really long and skinny. This is awesome because Printemps is my favorite um, like Muse subgroup. They write, they had all my favorite songs. So that is a score. I love the colors. And this is also early Love Live Art. So it looks like this is from the second uh, Ichiban Kuji they did. Oh, that's great. That's early art. They look so different there. Um, all right. And then, hee hee. I bought it for this too. I wanted that. So this is a little journal. I love finding stuff like this. So this is a like witch Katori themed journal. I have two of these journals already. I'm trying to get just when I find them and I like the art on them I grab them because it's pretty hard to find stuff like this and a lot of this stuff is like earlier merchandise than I'm used to so there's the first years like what are these are they just meant to be cute posters see Nico used to have longer hair so that's early Nico art um there's the second years so reflective and then look their uniforms are different because this is older art it's like they're having trouble with their uh, classwork there and then yeah early art this is really cool Okay, and then we have, I have this from the Water and Kismet Club, and then those two are as well. Um, see, I don't think this is a clear file, it's just a thingy. I'm gonna have to, like, translate what that says, but here's a Katori from, I believe, like, the first opening, right? And then, oh, I've always wondered what this is. Oh, they're little bandanas? Or something. What is it? I mean, it's acting like it's clothing of some sort. Maybe it is a little bandana. Cute. Like a scarf, maybe, actually, because some of them are wearing it as a scarf and some of them are wearing it on their heads. She's wearing it on her wrist. I don't know. Interesting, though. I've seen them in lots before. I just don't know what they are. And it looks like I got all three of them. I got green, blue, and red, and it looks like that's denoting their year because the second years have this one, for example. And it also literally says right here. <laughs> um, okay, what is this? Ah, I do remember this. Did not realize it was an acrylic. Oh, my God, this is amazing. Ah. <gasps> So this is a BB gigantic monster of an acrylic stand. This is beautiful. Wow. I also super like BB. It's just that um, print types has my favorite sound to them. Okay, and then a bunch of clear files. Like, we get it. I always end up with a million clear files. Um, some really unusual ones that I'm not used to seeing, though. These are actually boxes. They, like, form into some sort of box. I don't really know what the box is for. I've never done it either. I just have them. I've gotten them before in lots of clear files. <gasps> Candy Maid 
Katori. And it's a folder, not just a clear file. So there's the unidolized and the idolized. Okay, I might actually use this. Um, not that I don't use the other ones. It's just mostly they're for display. But oh my gosh, they're actual folders. But this is, I love this outfit. And it's more useful than a clear file to me. I do use quite a few of my clear files, actually. But most of them I use as posters because they make really nice posters. just have a lot... Well, these are the ones that come with the albums. I'm pretty sure they're, like, extras. Not, like, in certain places. Like, I think at um, 7-Eleven or something. I don't remember. Um, something. Oh, June 2nd, 2015. Over 10 million users, I guess, on the School Idol Festival. <gasps> oh, my gosh. So these are a commemorative thing of some sort. It looks like they cost about $3. So these are clear files. But look at this one. That's the Mermaid set. So this is over 15 million users. This person was committed to Love Live. Oh my gosh. 14 million users? 13 million users? 11 million? Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Okay, and there's more. 12 million users. Man, they were they were getting everything. I've never seen these before. Those are cool. And then what is this? This is like a little picture of some sort. They're really cute. Oh my gosh. Look how cute they look. They're closer to how they're supposed to look, but they're still slightly off model. They're slightly out of the right art style there. Um, and then the right art style being just the show art style. And then here we have placemats. These are the angelic angel. Oh, well, I have I have this one already. But look, then we have training outfits and dancing stars on me. Now, why is Nozomi? That's your song. <laughs> cool. So these go go live 2015. Are they advertising for that? Uh, they're advertising for the Blu-ray for it, I think. Cute. Okay, and then we have some small stuff. Love my Love Live merch. I'm excited. I'm building my Love Live displays. I mean, I'm ongoing building my Love Live displays, so I'm always excited to have more merch. Okay, so here is a little tiny clear file of some sort that matches with that acrylic, so it must have come with it. That acrylic was really cool. And then we have some bookmarks, which these, I think, were blind packaged or something. Um, there are a lot of them here. So we've got, what is, that's like a Magical Girl one. Just different card art, I think. Well, I don't know if all of this is card art. I'm not used to most of these. That's, um, isn't that the Little Devil set? Or no, that's one of the Valentine sets. Unidolized. Idolized is when you, like, in the card game, you make your card better. That's the, that's as much as I'm going to describe. That's cute. Oh my god, hi, Nozomi. Pretty. Oh, another Nozomi. These are gorgeous. I know that card. That's a card. Cute. See, that's not a card, but it is art, like, it is an outfit from cards. Okay, cards are from the game, by the way, like, the in-game cards. So it's always fun to get art from those. This is early art, and I love this set. Very cute! Okay, so those are my new bookmarks. And then we have some really cool postcard things, or whatever you would call these. Um, bromides, I guess, from Snow Halation. Very cool, from the music video for the single. And, oh, another one, Nico. Then we have, I think, a sticker. I don't know of Katori. We've got, oh my gosh, this lot ended up being much nicer than I thought it was going to be. Wow. Okay, so we've got more postcards. I love, oh, the candy made postcard. Cute. I love the postcards. I have the little bromide holders and the postcard holders. So what are these? I don't know what these are. I don't even know what these are from. Uh, then we have Candy Maid, Maki, Umi, oh my gosh, do I have the full set? Honoka, Honoka, Rin, Katori, please, Nozomi, Umi. I hate Ellie's outfit. Well, I like it, but I don't like the color. Haneo, Haneo, Honoka again. Yay, Nozomi, I love you. <gasps> Yay. Yeah, see, I'm not the biggest fan of the color scheme of her Candy Maid outfit, but Nozomi and Ellie are my favorites. And then we have Nico. So I think we got the full set. I wasn't paying that much attention, though. And then, did we have Umi? Yeah, we did. And then we had Rin. Did we have Maki? Yeah. Maki. Rin. Hanayo. Okay, so we did. We have the full set. Then Rin. Then we have this very early Aqua little sticker thing. Another one. I believe I already have this one. And then a candy made group shot. And then a bunch of these weird small bromides. Or, oh, they're folder things. Why did I call it a bromide? I meant clear file, but I'm still wrong. I have no idea what these are for. Because um, they're, they're like an awkward... Is it for receipts, maybe? There's something in there. <gasps> what do they come with? Oh my gosh, the Hacko Visions. <laughs> oh, how funny. 
So these are a piece of merchandise that'll show you here. They were like a little cardboard thing, a diorama, and you could put your phone behind it and it would make like, it look like a little Love Life stage, like they were dancing. So Hack of Vision tickets. I've never had one actually. That's cool. They don't work anymore, unfortunately. The codes no longer work. So I guess these came with Hack of Vision tickets. Wow. That is cool. See, this person was like in the weeds of early love live they had it all okay that was a cool lot <laughs> y'all i was editing the video and i was like oh my god how did i forget this i forgot to show you the lika chan furniture so the video is gonna be kind of late sorry <laughs> um i was like almost done editing and i was like oh my god how did i forget um so anyway this is all the furniture i don't know the origin of all the furniture i've just been searching for lika chan furniture specifically and this stuff was very different from what i normally find so i grabbed it um so let's see what it all is also I, to be fair i don't actually know if it's all like lika chan branded but it all looked really nice um and i'm building dollhouses as we speak or not i'm not building my dollhouse right now i'm working on the dollhouses that are like pre-built for me obviously okay we have a toilet amazing show stopping never been done and then we have i think there's like stairs um which is interesting okay we've got it in these does i can't just sell plastic bags or did denmark can do this because i also got this in another lot um maybe it's like a popular plastic bag brand there i don't know i know what ikea is i'm just saying like it's really unusual that i've gotten two in separate lots that have ikea plastic baggies okay so here is the table just super nice this color i like like natural like regular colors for things sometimes with doll furniture because usually it's like fantasy colors which is fine and it is fun okay i think this was like some kind of stairs i don't know maybe it's a slide we'll see i have no idea what this is i don't know and then we have the table setting which is very cute so there's a bunch of really cool stuff in here let me show you so there's these go together as a really nice little pan and then uh this is probably a cake stand if i had to guess yeah like has multiple layers to it so there are foods that are sculpted on but they look really good on there and then there's probably another plate that goes up top then we have these really nice little soap dispensers don't these look so nice and then and i just searched lika furniture and hope for the best uh we got some kind of little clipboard there and are these macaroons they are oh my god and a bunch of utensils and then a bunch of plates these ones have holes in them so let's see they're cute little like scalloped edge plates pretty nice and then these ones oh no i guess these are teacups tea do tea plate teacup plates have little holes in the bottom usually i don't know um oh this is the top of that there we go so i did it wrong i think i think ah! i think it goes like hmm that probably cool and then we have this one which you could also use that there very nice and then oh my gosh puppies we got two puppies see i don't know what all this goes to uh we got some puppies they feel a lot like that um lego rabbit that i opened the other day i'm not gonna put them on the table they don't go there and then this is probably a cutting board um, unfortunately, it seems like whatever this stair thing is was a big part. I think it's like a escalator. If it is actually like an escalator that functions, then I, that's really cool. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. See, like, what the heck is this? So, but it, I don't, I don't know what this is, but, <laughs> and then this is a, where it can turn, right? Um, and then there's this. This looks like it goes to a bunk bed, maybe? This is a bathtub. What is this? Is this a sink? Oh, this is actually really cute if this is a sink. Most dollhouses have sinks built in, but if I build my own dollhouse... Oh my god, cute! It's one of those shell sinks. <gasps> these actually turn. Oh, only the faucet does. Huh. I would think these turn, but the faucet turning is really cool. Oh my god, this is really cute. So cute. Where's the other parts of the chairs? Let's see. Oh, there they are. <gasps> Yay! So I have a table setting with four chairs. I'll build one chair for you here. This is an adventure, right, guys? 
Okay, there's the chair. Super cute. Might have just put that on backward, actually. Yeah. Really, really nice little chair. And they're a little bit small for Barbie, but they work. Because Lika's are a bit smaller. And then in here, I have no idea. Oh, shoot. Whoa. Amazing. Oh, too bad that's coming off. So I wonder why those are colored underneath. Weird. Um, this is a really nice kitchen set. Oh, look. Man, that would have been devastating if that wasn't included, so I'm glad it was. Okay, this is, like, really nice looking. Oh, look, this actually moves. Oh, that's the fire, I guess, or something? I don't know. Um, this opens. It's a miracle. It has all the doors. There's where you can store your, like, cookie sheets. Very cool. And then the bed seems to be missing something here, but that's fine. And then we have the whole staircase situation. I don't know what I'm doing with that staircase, and I'll leave it alone. <laughs> but I have this, and this probably goes with that somehow. It's really cute. And then, oh no, this goes here. See, I don't know. I think these all went to some sort of dollhouse, or at least some of them did, because the staircase thing, which I know a lot of Lika dollhouses are like cardboard or something. So maybe the person had kept all the nice furniture and gotten rid of the dollhouse piece. I have absolutely no idea. I'm like, what? what is this? I think it, so that's, see, I don't know what I'm looking at. Like, why, why does this have this weird feature where you can like <laughs> turn it? I don't know. Oh, maybe you could use it like that's for going one way and that's for going the other way. I have no idea. If y'all know, please help me. Please enlighten me. And then we have one more piece of furniture. We have the bathtub. And this was like a random secondhand lot on Yahoo Japan auction. So, oh, and oh, so that's where these go, I bet. Yeah, so these are the soaps. This is a really nice little bathtub. Very cute. Very, very cute. So definitely the bathroom set and the kitchen and dining sets are like really, really nice. I'm really glad that I bought this set. I didn't pay a lot for the actual furniture. I think I paid maybe like $15, $20 for all this. But the staircase piece has contributed largely to how expensive the shipping was on this, which is not very fun. So if you're shopping for stuff like this, just be careful because the shipping can get really expensive really fast with big stuff like this. So just, you know, be, be careful. But I'm very excited about this stuff. A lot of this furniture is super nice. And I wish it was branded though, because I'm not sure... If it is Takara Tomi or not. Man, that actually stayed. The other one flew out because I'm an idiot and I shouldn't have tipped that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, if you guys know what any of this furniture goes to, I would appreciate it if you could share the knowledge with me. This is so cute. Okay. All right. Well, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and thank you to Zen Market for partnering with me in some capacity um, in making this video. I really appreciate it. I really enjoy Zen Market as a proxy service. I've been using them since like, 2018 I think and I've really enjoyed it and I just love buying different merchandise from Japan not always dolls I do find like some of the my favorite dolls in my collection are from Japan I know I'm gonna love these I'm so excited about these I can't wait to compare them to the originals too um because that's something that I'm uniquely capable of <laughs> um not that nobody else has the original ones or anything but I think they're kind of unusual I don't really see them in a lot of collections but I find so many dolls that I just absolutely love from Japan, and I love sharing them with you. I have a bunch more dolls coming in the next box. This box just got kind of strange um, because of the giant play sets. But I, I don't just collect dolls from Japan. I collect all kinds of stuff from Japan. I only started collecting dolls, like, specifically released in Japan, like, very recently, uh, back in, like, 2020. That's not, like, very recently anymore. But not that was not the original reason I used Zen Market. It was mostly for other stuff, just, like, merchandise in general. Um, but I've been really enjoying finding dolls and things. I love being introduced to new doll lines and finding old doll lines that I really enjoy or, like, new releases that I didn't know about. New When I said this is a being introduced to a doll line I didn't know about. The, these came out, like, 10 years ago. Um, and then, like, you know, new dolls that are really exciting and I track the releases and pre-order them. It's super fun to be involved in that way old American releases question mark that I just end up with from Japan sure um and then also what is this oh yeah that's for my friend um and then like other little doll lines that I just oh is are these wings am I still I think I might be stupid no this is a hat this is a hat I was like wait are... um and then also just this would be another doll line that I didn't already know about I knew about this show I just had no idea they had dolls so I am happy um, 
not a whole lot of dolls this time, but I hope you enjoyed regardless. And again, thank you so much to Zen Market for working with me on this video. All of this stuff was purchased with my own money. A few of them were um, like partially paid for with affiliate credit that I received, which I really appreciate. And yeah, that's it for this video. If you'd like information on how to buy from Zen Market, I'll have a guide linked in the description that I made in my last Japan haul video and um, all the links of like different translated things that you might want to use to buy stuff like this, I'll also include in the description so that you guys can use them because that's the hardest part I think of starting to shop internationally is <laughs> the like needing to translate and figure that kind of stuff out but Zen Market auto translates stuff but you still have to search for stuff in Japanese often not always so it could be kind of daunting so I'll include like just searches that are already pre-set up for you so that's that's very helpful um and I just really enjoy using Zen Market specifically because I've used Chinese proxies I've used an European proxy with services and proxy again you order stuff from somewhere in a certain country, it ships to somewhere else in that country, they gather the products for you and they ship to you. And Zen Market to me has been the easiest and most pleasant experience out of any because they don't charge you to consolidate your boxes. Most proxies do, which I find surprising because the point of a proxy, to me anyway, is to consolidate my box because I could get stuff shipped to me, but imagine like I pay $20 in shipping for this because like the minimum for international shipping by the way is around $15 generally so I pay like $15 for this I pay $20 for this I pay $20 $20 and like it really stacks up and sometimes you can get like Amazon Japan will have very cheap shipping sometimes but being able to consolidate all of this stuff together made the shipping so much cheaper than it would have been and that's the main draw of this to me is like the reason you don't see me buying from Europe very often is because I haven't really found a good European proxy service and China my uh, proxy I I enjoy my proxy. I'll tell you about them maybe someday. I don't I don't specifically like talk about them until I have like a really really good like endorsement because I don't want to just randomly endorse a company because it's like, yeah, I used this company um cuz I don't know. Uh but for Zen Market it's like I've been using Zen Market for 5 years and I've loved them so much and I've used other Japanese proxies is the main thing. I've used other Japanese proxies and I have not liked them very much at all actually. Um so yeah. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so so much for watching and all of these products again featured in this video that are like still in box like the Likachan um kitchen set or cake baking set this is not going to be unboxed but like these sorts of things they will likely be in video these will be in a video very soon um this will most likely be included in some kind of video unboxing um so you'll see them again also like there's more of these coming there's more um <laughs> these uh will be included in future doll room updates you'll see a lot of this stuff show up just trickling into my collection in the doll room updates but yeah that's it thank you guys so, so much for watching for real this time bye